Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to go ahead and go into Super Battle Road, the Super Class stage with the Super Saiyan 3 team. Hope you guys enjoy, of course, hit that subscribe if you're new for more content. So we do have Trunks' Awakening and Gohan's Awakening as well, alongside the uh, Zeno Goku and Vegeta cards that don't awaken as of now, but are still quite good, of course. So I just, they're going to be really good when they actually do. We also do have the EZA Gotenks as well. So we're going to go ahead and go in and uh, see if we can get that W, which we should. But it'll be it'll be interesting. You know, the only issue I have with this team is that like, you know, for other categories that have access to a 170 leader or 170 across the board or even 150 across the board or whatever the case is, you know, this one it, it kind of only has just 130 to HP. And since that's the case, you don't really need the HP for for content that's not harder, right? It, but it's nicer to have it than not to have it. I'd say like HP and attack 170 is my dream split, right? Now that doesn't that doesn't mean that you don't need the defense, but I'd rather have the HP overall personally. But you know, being under 400,000 HP, a lot of you guys are probably like, no matter what team you do, right? Uh, under 400, like, wait, is he really complaining about that? But no, like for like content, harder content, like the Legendary Goku event, which I do plan on trying again. Um, with this team, right? You do need that extra little leeway. So hopefully in the future we can get a 170 across the board. With the way things have shaped out since this, this category's release, I, I think 100% this category would warrant getting 150 at least or 170 with the way things have changed up with categories and their leader skills and stuff. So personally, that's what I would like to see. Uh, but other than that, I'm very impressed with the units. These units are actually quite good, but it's a very exclusive team. For example, uh, you know, there's a possibility Global gets this stuff because Heroes is out globally now in some fashion anyway with World Mission. And the latest banner is a World Mission banner. But it, there's still also a solid possibility Global doesn't get, like, literally any of these units except for the, the Go Tanks that they already have and the Bardock. So, like, what do you do in that case, right? <laughs> so, we'll see what happens ultimately. That's just going to continue to be a talking point until it isn't. But we're going to go ahead and just let everybody go at Tagoma here. Uh, I've talked to you guys' ears off. We're going to go ahead and get into the gameplay. But let me know how you guys feel about that. Do you think that this team should be able to beat the Legendary Goku event now? Uh, just do bear in mind that when it comes to that event, Bardock here isn't going to tank very well. He's nice when lower on HP anyway. You can't seal, which he doesn't even guarantee a seal anyway. Like, there's just little stuff like that that's just like, meh. You know, and the Gohan and Trunks are phenomenal offense and defensively, and Trunks is one of the best defensive units in the game. Uh, so you have a little bit of leeway with that at least. And then the, the Zeno, Goku, and Vegeta cards, they are very good for base SSRs. They're like the best ones, I'd say, or among the best uh, non-awakenable SSRs in the game, right? But, uh... They do want to get that uh, <laughs> awakening, if for no other reason than to have higher stats, right? And then a little bit of a better passive and stuff like that. It helps out a lot with the team. Uh, and overall, you know, you have other tech options. I don't really like to use tech units versus that event, of course. So shout out to uh, shout out to, to Team Gotenks, who's literally not that good anymore because he doesn't have any sort of defense, and nowadays you basically need it. Uh, but he's solid, right? And uh, shout out to uh, who else? LRS is three Goku, who uh, a lot of the same thing I just said about Gotenks applies to Goku. Uh, and then also anyone else. <laughs> so we will, um, from here, I'm going to let Trunks stay in the front spot because, again, he's a phenomenal defensive unit anyway. So we're going to go there. And for the Vegeta, you can attack uh, Sorbet. Sorbet. Uh, Sorbet. And uh, for Gotenks, he's going to be at 11 key, which is a sweet spot offensively and defensively for him. So that's going to be nice. Let's see what Trunks takes. We do have the item up. Okay, 92. Unfortunately, Trunks did not guard against those attacks. So he was in a position where he didn't have any sort of defensive support at all, obviously. He hasn't super attacked to stack his defense. That was all just natural numbers right there, right? So uh, if he had activated his guard passive, you know, shades of uh, STR Ultimate Gohan literally never doing it when you want him to. If he had, though, he would have took no damage. Gotenks shouldn't take any damage here either. All right, so we're going to go ahead and proceed from here. Uh, Frieza should go down, actually. No? Okay. We needed a, a crit and maybe an additional as well. All right. So, Goku, unlike Trunks, is guaranteed to guard against all attacks he receives. I just realized the power pole literally covers up his eyes and his face. Holy crap. I've never noticed that. That is... What is what is that bad design? The hair and the power pole don't, do, do not mesh on this on this sprite. Why? The art, obviously, is fine, but the sprite, you can't, literally can't see half his face. <laughs> to be fair, who actually even looks at the sprites that much? Um, okay, so Gohan, alongside Bardock, Gohan is going to be insanely good. And he's a better defensive unit, so I'm going to put him in the front. And we're going to let these guys target at the Frieza and hopefully take out the Frieza before the Frieza gets a chance to retaliate versus my Bardock. 
I'm going to assume that we obviously do take out Frieza within two attacks, right? And we're uh, in a position where we should have got Bardock's passive at the start of the turn as well. So, anyways, go on. 2.29, very good attack stat from this man here. It can get higher than that for sure. Uh, double Bardock, you know, uh, whatever else. You know, multiple attacks from him. It can definitely get a lot better than that. All right, so Bardock, please. I mean, you would think with two million, I would two million attacks out. I wouldn't have to worry about that. But like, did he really not? Okay, he did. I was gonna say. I was going to say, man. I was gonna say. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you for real? Are you for real? And look, Goku is able to block against that. So Trunks is in a position here where he's gonna have access to the passive support uh, from the uh, Bardock as well. So Trunks is not the most damaging offensive unit by any stretch. But with this scenario, this support. Uh, the links and all that stuff. He should be fine here. So, all right, let's see if he can go ahead and KO it. Uh, if not the Vegeta, by the way. Vegeta could potentially, if he does, decide to get a crit. We'll see, though. Uh, he did not get a crit, unfortunately. Trunks should finish it off, though. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see and move on to the next boss. Yeah. No? Okay, Trunks. All right, thanks. You did a great job. Oh, look at Bardock being the finisher, man. Being the finisher. Also, this is a good news. Uh, this is a good news. Wow, great English, Steve Free. This is good news because you get to start off next round with uh, with Gohan. And that means we can do a lot of damage versus this stupid, stupid setup. I've always hated this boss. Always. That is, that's probably the one I hate the most in all of Super Battle Road. Why? It's not because they're crazy hard or anything like that. I just think it's so annoying. <laughs> you got to fight like five of them, right? It's really annoying. <laughs> That's just me, though. Let me know what your most hated rotation is in all of Boss Rush. That boss Rush, really? Damn it, D-Free. Super Battle Road. <laughs> I, I, was, I was talking about bosses too much, and my mind just went to Boss Rush. Anyways, I hate them, and that's just it is what it is. Okay, so in this scenario, though, uh, we get Gotenks with his uh, beautiful key passive. So, uh, well, uh, excuse me, his beautiful passive for 11 key if I want it. Uh, and he will have access to defense if I, again, allow for him to have it. Uh, so what I will do... For this first setup is we are going to we're gonna use that i'm gonna i'm gonna bank on them maybe doing super attacks here so we'll see and i don't want to heal too much i want to be in a position where i can get the bardock passive reapplied uh but if i leave the rotations how they are in a couple of turns gohan will come back with double bardock so hopefully by then we've had a, a couple of super attacks and stuff so gohan if you would do me the pleasure the honor of KOing, koba kobosito uh, we will actually continue there just in case. All right. And uh, Frostu. Frostu. All right. Let's see if we can take out the Frost as well. Uh, so Gohan isn't going to take very much damage, thankfully. There's a lot of attacks there. Oh, Kappa's going to super. How cute. How cute. All right. Uh, okay, cool. 2.1. We're going to take that. And we're going to take that crit you're going to give me. Yeah. Ah, come on. Boo. Oh, doubles. Oh, I would love to get a double super. With Gohan and Trunks, they're nine turn stacks. That that's very good, man. If you could get doubles, that's 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 best case scenario, of course. So, I would hope that we can get a double. Uh, thank you, Bardock. Look at Bardock being the most, you know, ooh, <laughs> and three point six for this Go Tank. This got a one shot Frost. And I'll finish my sentence in a moment. Come on, come on. Okay, no crit necessary. I see you. Anyways, um, you know, Bardock. Bardock to me, I, I <sighs> Okay, let me go ahead and just pull up Bardock for this portion, right? Bardock is not a bad unit. He is still, in my opinion, one of the better units you can have as far as a unit that can do offense and defense and also have support, right? He's a very good festival unit. Uh, the only downside I think to him is that, you know, you do need to dip below 70% HP to even get the support. But again, 40% attack support is crazy. And there are units that can make use of that better than others. Like, for example, on the Goku family team, you have the transforming Goku. Being below 70% is 100% conducive to what that transforming Goku wants to do. The, the new Super Saiyan one, right? So that being said, obviously it's very good. Now, in other scenarios, maybe you don't like it as much. On, under his own team, that's why I think that's why he's a 130 leader in HP anyway. Because he needs to get below a certain threshold, and it would just be harder if he had more HP. At least that's how I look at it. But anyways, the only thing I don't like about Bardock <laughs> is that 100% attack and defense isn't special anymore, right? Just on the surface, if he's not getting his support passive, and he, so he doesn't hit, like, crazy hard. And then the chance to steal is just, like, why? You might as well just guaranteed it. Like, why does he have a chance to do something that important, right? I can understand if it was, like, this Trunks, and it's like, oh, chance to guard against all hits. That's fine. But a chance to seal just seems so pointless to me. He should guarantee himself 
that he goes ahead and does it. So I think he's phenomenal. I think that he's got a lot of usability, and I think he's a very, very good support unit. But I can't overlook the fact that he, like, literally gets on my nerves. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, we're going to go there. I did go ahead and make a switch there, an executive decision, because of uh, the placement of hits attacks in the end there. Goku would guard against them regardless. So it doesn't really matter too much. And it looks like Trunks is guarding, so he's going to take no damage from this. Absolutely nothing. 38K. He hasn't even had the opportunity to stack, so I'm cool with that, man. 38K. We'll, we'll live with that. <laughs> Medetta, 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 excuse me, was shocked. Did you see that, man? Feel free to rewind it. Look at him. He was like, oh, my goodness. Wait. Oh, what? Hello? Can we get that stun, Goku? Can we get that stun? Oh, we got the stun. Oh, we take the stun. We got the stun. We take that any day of the week. Vegeta, give me that crit. Give me that, make it two for two. Give me that crit. Oh, yeah, we got the crit. Oh, double crits. Oh, I said two for two. I didn't mean that Vegeta had to do two, two uh, crit attacks, but, you know, we'll take that for sure. All right. So we have that vaunted, like I said, double Bardock, Gohan setup. This is going to be good. This should be good. <laughs> All right, Bardock, do me a favor. Please beat the Magetta, right? There's no way Magetta should live from this. Like, Bardock, if, if, you live, if he lives from that, you're trash. I don't care what I said in the beginning. You are absolutely trash. I am going to use this just in case you try to get, like, super attacked or something. Bardock, if he lives, you are trash. I don't care, okay? I don't care at all. I love you, Bardock, but you're frustrated. All right. And he always has, though, to be honest. Okay, cool. He didn't get super. That's all I cared about. 2.6. That's nice. That's very nice. That's very nice. Very nice. Okay, he crit. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Gohan, you want a double super attack? Wow, the Gohan's at literally the exact same attack stat. 2.6. Variable, but very, very close attack stat. Yeah, and that's why I said doubles are very nice. 2.8. Thank you. Can we get that crit, please? Come on, bro. Uh, all right, Bart, I finished it off. <laughs> that also speaks volumes to how good the Gohan is. Because the Gohan's also a better defender than the, the Bardock is. Again, that, it's not really between them, but I think that speaks volumes to how good he is. Especially because the Gohan uh, shares an attack link with the Bardock, which is experienced fighters and whatever else is in there, right? Super Saiyan, limit breaking, yada yada. Um, but also the fact that um, the Gohan has a secondary bonus, 60% when he launches a super attack and defense. So he's got 160 collective defense, unless it calculates separately, which it probably does. But the nine turn attack raise, like I said, you saw it kick into action when he got the additional. So if I'm able to get additionals like every turn, his attack stat can get quite high. That's the thing. That's the thing. And he's not even a fierce battle unit. So that guy is very good. All right, let's go ahead and just wrap this up. We're getting close to that Dokkan attack. The good news is we're not forced into it. So that's all I care about. We're going to get those, and we will even get an 11 key super. That should, that should be it. You know, that should be it. I was trying to, at the last second, decide on not getting the same color orbs, but hopefully this this turn can beat this guy. I know both Tombo is tanky, but like, take him, okay, yeah, I think we should, I think we got him, I think we got him. If we even consider getting a crit here, we got him. Oh, okay, yeah, thanks, we got him, we got him for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, we go ahead and move on. All right, go tanks, do your thing, my boy, 2.3 million. Gotenks got a pretty wide range of attack stats. All right, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to give some other units because I haven't been talking about Trunks and his inability to get to like a million attack stat. Holy crap, this is super zoomed in. I never zoom in this much. That really threw me off. <laughs> I have not been talking about Trunks' inability to get to a million. That's not a big deal because he's so good defensively. Uh, but also, Gohan's out here uh, just hoarding all of the all the support, man. I gotta give other units a chance. <laughs> <laughs> the Gohan is making sure he is the only one to benefit. Speaking of Gohan, he might even get a Dokkan attack here. Do I give it to Gohan? I want to give it to Gohan. I want to give it to Gohan, like, really bad. Um, I think I'm giving it to Gohan for sure here. I think and for sure don't really go together, but you get my point. Yeah, we're giving it to him. Um, I will, though... I'm going to heal this turn. This is where things get a little slippery. Because I don't really know how much damage I wind up taking here, right? But I want to be better safe than sorry. So there we go. Gohan's a better defender anyway after a super attack. And this is why. So, like, this is why I decided to use that stuff. Because I figured they might try to super me. And normally, Rose does it in the front. Zamasu in the back. Major pause. But you get my point. <laughs> it's 
major pause. <laughs> ah, it cost me to miss two of those. <laughs> Be free, stop memeing in the middle of the video. <laughs> 2.1. All right, can we get that crit? <laughs> can we get a double attack? Anybody? Somebody? Can we get this double attack? Oh, crits, we take those. Oh, doubles, we take those. All right, I win the lottery if I get a double crit. Oh, no lottery, okay. Powerball, Powerball. All right, 84, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, it worked out for the best, though. I'm cool with that. Also, I, I didn't really mention this when I was kind of talking about Gohan and Bardock. I do want to keep in mind, I, I kind of mentioned it in favor of Gohan, but I didn't mention it uh, as a as a bad thing for Bardock. Bardock wasn't having an access to Fierce Battle. So he obviously would have a, had a better than like 2.6 or whatever it was, million attack stat, if he had an ally that had <clears throat> prepared for battle. So that's a little another thing. Again, it's not a debate between them. I do, for the record, think that they have different roles. So. Oh, hey, I have two very good defensive units here. Whatever will I do? Uh, 100,000 and 147,000. While Trunks' defense can, of course, go even higher than that. It, it's funny when you talk about Super Saiyan 3 and going even further beyond, but Trunks' defense can literally go even further beyond where it's at. All right, we're going to go with that. And uh, this rotation should be fine defensively. Yeah, look at the Goku. Look at him go. Again, like I said, the Goku and the Vegeta are phenomenal units. They don't even awaken yet. Like I said, wait until they awaken. These are gonna be some very good units. I'm actually, ooh, a stun, nice. I'm actually kind of scared for them because I kind of feel like they might try not to make them too good. Like they might not make too big of a difference or like too big of a change. By the way, I talked about Trunks a little bit, not having access to support. He didn't get the Bardock support passive because the Bardock actually in this scenario was not in a position to offer the support. We're above the threshold, if you didn't, if you didn't notice. Um, okay, so here we don't actually have anything to really worry about. We can get, we can get, uh, we don't have to worry about the placement of the opponent at all because the Zamasu is, he's, uh, he's stunned right now. So we can kind of just play around that very, very easily. So we're going to go ahead and target back here. And I should have meant, I meant for Gohan to target there, but it's fine. I mean, if we can take out Rosé this turn, that'd be nice. All right, that'd be really nice. So two million attacks that here. And by the way, Bardock has fierce battle he has experienced fighters so technically this would be without support anyway the best way to optimize him for this video if you're wondering uh where is he at so 1.6 yeah he really needs his support passive he really needs his support passive uh oh the seal oof got it thank you got him cap oh okay i didn't i didn't expect that i didn't expect 260,000. see that's why i said 130,000, uh, not 130,000, 30, oof. 130 percent just is not it, bro. That is not it. You, you absolutely, 100 percent want more than that because look how much that did to me. Like these units are good enough defensively, so I really do hope that we do get a leader. That uh, again, it could be 150 across the board. Even that makes the difference. But like these units are good enough defensively to where it's like I don't need that, you know. So we'll see what happens anyway in the future. If you guys do have any ideas for what would be a uh, a potential like uh, new SS3 category leader, what would you want it to be? Let me know. Oh man, they are just picking on him now with the seals, the stuns, the crits. They're just they've just been picking on Zamasu this whole entire time, and I don't mind if I do. All right, Gohan, do it now, Gohan. Let's see if we can get him. Let's see if we can do it right here. Let's end it right now. End it right now. Run! 2.97. I know you could get higher than that, man. Oh my gosh. Don't beat him. Additional super. Ah, if he additional super, he'd be over three. That's what I said in my video with Hydros. We didn't actually get him this this powerful. I think he was at best like 2.7 or something. But I know for a fact this unit, the the nine turn stack is too is too important. He can ease, he can get over not he can get over three million. He's not gonna be there consistently. But he basically got there just now. So that's really cool. I really love that Gohan. That's got to be one of my favorite units now. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of D-Free and Dokkan and just memes and just shenanigans. And <laughs> I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. And uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave that thumbs up and subscribe. If you happen to be new, have an awesome day, everyone. And take it easy.